Hey guys, welcome to Quinnian's Budget Crafts. How about we put an external hole on this thing? This thing's a little bit big for my kind of cramped workspace here, so sorry about the strange camera angles and occasional gray hair you might see popping into the frame. The first thing we're going to need to do is put a wall on the bottom section, but we want to put it on at an angle. So cut the walls that are already on the bottom at an angle to where it's one thickness wide on the bottom coming out to the corner on the top so the walls lean a little bit. Go ahead and put your two inch ready board all the way around, same as you did on top. Just glue the wall straight to the top of the decking, same as you did before. And for those sharp curves, just stick your finger on there and bend it gently around your finger. As long as you're careful about it, you won't break the stuff. I've actually found that the ready board that the paper comes off of easily without sticking is more prone to bending without breaking. Make sure when you're gluing this to glue it to the walls that are already in there as well as the floor. And remove any glue squeeze out you have. So the top and bottom holes still don't line up right. And I need a skeleton to put the planking on. So we're going to add some ribs or something. I'm not sure what you'd call them. So get the top and bottom lined up exactly how you want by looking through that hole in the top deck. Flip the whole thing over and then make a little mark on both the top and the bottom. These marks are going to be for magnets. These little magnets are 4 by 2 millimeter. They have a 1.5 pound pull strength. I got them from apexmagnets.com. These little guys are really strong. So my bigger glue gun here has a little tip on it that's just perfect for poking a hole for these magnets. So just stab a hole straight down exactly where you've made those marks. Fill up the hole with some hot glue and drop a magnet in there. If the magnet's not quite cooperating, use the hot glue gun to heat it up to get it to sit in there flat. And then hold it in place with something that's non-magnetic until the glue solidifies. Go ahead and do that on the other one too. In order to make sure that your magnets will stick to each other and not repel each other, go ahead and put a loose magnet on top of the ones you already have glued in. Mark the back of them, or the top of them, with some marker or something so you can tell which side goes into the opposing piece. And then do them one at a time. Go ahead and make your hole, pull the spare magnet off, drop it in the hole, making sure everything stays matched up the whole time. So the magnets weren't holding quite as well as I had hoped. This thing's heavier than I thought. So I added four more. One on each end and one on each side where the seams are. So for those ribs on the side, we'll do one every two inches. So go ahead and mark out your bottom piece at two inches all the way around. And we'll use two inch strips of ready board for this. Hold it up on the side of the ship and then mark the top of it where it meets the top deck. And then mark it there. And then cut that off at an angle from your mark to the corner, effectively making little wedges. Then glue your wedge on to the side only, not the top. And do that all the way around. To get the curve on the front of the ship, take two strips of your quarter inch stuff, glue them together so you have a big board. Hold it up to the front of the ship to figure out where you want it curved. Cut off the chunk for the bottom and glue it to the very bottom of the ship. Use another piece of that big board thing you made to make a spacer to keep it held out at the right distance. Glue that in. And then for the one on the top deck, do the same thing. Just glue it to the bottom and use more pieces of that board thing you made to make spacers. For the protrusion on the back where the captain's cabin goes, you need to make a few little pieces here. Do a small little curved piece. You can use a jar or something to make the curve for you. Just mash it on there and it'll give you an impression where you need to cut it out. And just follow that mark around to cut out your curve. Gonna need about five of these. There's that black bar creeping up the bottom of my screen again. I did figure out how to fix that. This is the last time you'll see it, I swear. So just take your little curved pieces, kind of eyeball where you want them on the ship and glue them around the bottom of the top deck. That's to hold the floor of the deck that's sticking out the back. 
you take another piece, hold it up to the little things you have sticking out, and mark it where those end, so you can cut it off there. And then just cut it at an angle that looks good to you. I don't even know what measurement this is. Put another piece on top of that, following the angle out, and then go straight up from the side of that. The topmost one is two inches at its widest point. You only need two of these. Just glue them to the walls, but not to the top of each other. That'll make more sense later. And now cut a hole out of the back wall on both decks without cutting through the floor. So for the hole planking itself, we need a whole bunch of quarter inch strips. You can do it the hard way using a ruler, or you can make a little jig like this. This is one of those dollar store Jenga blocks with a quarter inch piece of dowel glued to the side. It's glued to where the Jenga block sits on the mat and the dowel sits on the foam. And then you glue a blade to the side of the dowel that goes all the way down to the mat. Maybe kind of dangerous, don't leave this laying around, but it sure does make turning an entire sheet of ready board into strips real easy. So for glue on, on your hole planking, glue it to the front beam first, then to one of the ribs, then to the next rib, and so on until you've got the top one done. Make sure you push it up against the top deck. Once you've got that all the way on, when you start the next row, it's easier to just flip this thing over and then glue it to the ribs and to the previous board. Let's do that all the way around until you get to the very bottom of the thing or the top as you're working on it like this. And trim off any excess that ends up sticking over. Once you've done both sides, go ahead and cut the boards on the back to where they look like some kind of overlapping board. And glue in some more boards in those little spaces you cut. When you're gluing these, it's kind of tricky. you got to make sure you get the glue on all the sides that are going to be touching and the rib. Once that's all done, go over it again with your wire brush to make sure that anywhere you didn't have good texture has some really aggressive texture now. As for these ribs showing through here, when you take the decks apart, you can actually leave that open to show the skeleton of the ship if you want. Or you can go ahead and cover it over with some planking or something. It's up to you. If you are going to leave it open though, you probably want to Mod Podge and paint the inside of that before you put the planking on. And then do the top. Same idea, just glue it to the front post first, then glue it to the side of the ship itself, but not the board below it. When you get to the back, go ahead and figure out where it stops on the edge of those wall things you made. Cut it off there and glue it right on. And then as you keep going, you're going to get further away from the wall, so go ahead and start gluing it to the board below it as you go. After you get a couple boards on, you're only going to need to go part way around because the side drops down. And once you get it all the way up, front and back, we're going to need to extend the top deck out over the captain's cabin. So go ahead and remove your top deck that you already have on there. On the back. Remove the top deck from the front as well. Because of the siding we won't need this post anymore it'll stay where it's supposed to. We're gonna have to redo the top deck to match the new shape of the front of the ship there. But we'll get to that. Just go ahead and finish your planking all the way around both sides. When you get to the back over here where the captain's cabin goes you can see these side walls are sticking out all crazy. Just make yourself a little deck to set on the bottom. You just hold the foam up and eyeball it for your measurements there. Glue it to the sides and the bottom. Take some more of your plank things that you made, the double thick ones, and put one in between each of those sidewall things on their corners. That'll help hold everything nice and straight. And don't forget to do your planking underneath that little deck you just made, where it's still black there. So there are some more things I want to do before I Mod Podge this, but I don't know if I really want to get into that in this video. It's going to be kind of long, so maybe for Wednesday. What do you guys think? Would you prefer to have bigger builds a little bit late, but one giant mega video? Or would you prefer it split up a little bit? Just let me know in the comments below. I'll continue this on Wednesday, but until then, if you guys want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon or Ko-Fi. Ko I still can't pronounce that. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you on the next one.